Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello friends, welcome back once again. Today we are going to discuss the synthesis of acetazolamide. Acetazolamide is a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor under the diuretic class. So it mainly acts on the PCT of the nephron. So acetazolamide is carbonic anhydrase inhibitor. and act mainly in the PCT, PCT of the nephron, act into the PCT that is proximal convoluted tubule. Estazolamide is a weak diuretic because it have a less efficacy that's why it's weak diuretic. Now let's have a look on the synthesis of the estazolamide. So the synthesis of estazolamide is starting from the hydrazine hydrate hydrazine hydrate why it's in the hydrate form because the anhydrous hydrazine is highly reactive we cannot use for the reaction so here we have to hydrazine hydrate hydrazine hydrate now this hydrazine hydrate reacted with ammonium thiocyanate ammonium thiocyanate NH4SCN this is ammonium thiocyanate ammonium thiocyanate when it reacted then what happened here new intermediate form and this become like this this new intermediate form and this is one two One to bis thio carbamoyl hydrazine hydrazine. Now this one to bis thio carbamoyl. It's thio carbamoyl hydrazine one to one and two both have the thio carbamoyl. So one to bis thio carbamoyl hydrazine. Now when on this one to bis thio carbamoyl hydrazine. Phosgene gas passed, then it causes the cyclization. So, by the cyclization in the presence of phosgene, and and S, and here it have. NH2 here it have SH then a new intermediate form this is 5 amino here numbering is starting from here 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 amino 2 mercapto 2 mercapto 1 3 4 thiadiazole 1 3 4 thiadiazole this intermediate form now this intermediate undergoes acetylation process acetylation process in the presence of cs3 CO Cl acetyl chloride acetyl chloride acylation 
then this chloride take this hydrogen ion and remove at the form of hcl here hcl will be removed and this will be added on this amino group so next it becomes like this and and here s here have the sh here it becomes n h c o c s3 this intermediate again undergoes the oxidation in the presence of agcl2 silver chloride oxidation in the presence of cl2 then what happen here it becomes n n here double bond here have the h here it's have nh co cs3 here it becomes so2 cl on this intermediate when ammonia gas passed ammonia when the ammonia gas passed then it will remove this chloride ion and, and amino group will be added here so finally it becomes n n s here it becomes so2 nh2 here it's nh co cs3 this is the acetazolamide here your final product synthesized that is acetazolamide now let's have a quick revision what happened hydrazine hydrate reacted with ammonium thiocyanate then it form 1 2 base thiocarboxyl hydrazine when phosgene gas passed then cyclization occurs and by the cyclization it form 5 amino 2 mercap 2 1 3 4 thiadiazole when acylation occurs in the presence of acetyl chloride then what happen this intermediate when the oxidation of this intermediate form then it forms this intermediate by the passing of the ammonia this chloride ion will be removed as hcl here hcl will be removed and amino group will be added on this position and it becomes the acetazolamide